Welcome to the animation block. Hey guys, it is Ryder here. This is episode 24 of season 2, or season, the whole show, but we're in season 2, obviously. We only have a few more episodes left this season, and no better way to use one of those episodes to dedicate a full one to Butch Hartman and the Butch Hartman programs that are out on Nickelodeon and have been out on Nickelodeon and are actually debuting today on Nickelodeon. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, Butch Hartman, the man behind the Fairly Odd Parents, Danny Phantom, and Tom Tough Puppy, a few other smaller things, but those are the pretty big ones. Uh, he has a new show coming out today. There's been a lot of hype behind it, and unfortunately, I really didn't know about this. Otherwise, he would have, you know, obviously seen more videos towards this topic, but there's this new show that he's doing called Bunsen is a Beast. Uh, it's going to be premiering on Nickelodeon. I believe the first two episodes, if you have video on demand, I believe you can get them now, or if you have the Nick.com, which it, that's just like if you have internet. So I, I believe you can watch watched the first couple episodes uh, already, but the, the official premiere date is today, and uh, there's actually a lot of hype going into this show, uh, mainly because they are not just marketing this as just another Nickelodeon TV show, but more so in the, in the line and lineage of Butch Hartman's creations, because they are fully marketing this show with his other shows. So we're going to be taking a look at Bunsen as a Beast, because I have seen the first couple episodes, I'm going to give my thoughts on it, and where I think the future of the series will be going, uh, but then we're going to move into another different topic that I think is just as much exciting, or more exciting, I think it's actually more exciting, uh, we got a brand new, brand new, just today, it was this kind of two minute teaser clip, kind of promoting, it seemed like, Bunsen is a beast, but at the same time, it was, again, promoting all of Butch Hartman's work, and we actually got to see some brand new animation for, oh, it's since over 10 years, it's been 10 years, we've get, we're, we got a brand new animated clip and, and shot of Danny Phantom and Danny Phantom's characters. It's been over 10 years, guys, and we are getting, we, we got a brand new piece of just randomly animation for this great character. We, we also got Cosmo and Wanda and Timmy in there, and you had the, the tough puppy characters in there as well. It was really cool, and then they showed Bunsen, and, you know, again, it is just, it's, it's fully marketing this towards, you know, maybe this is really going to be a, a real big hit for Nickelodeon. I truly do hope it is, uh, because I really think Nickelodeon is struggling, uh, in the, at least in the sense of their animated programs. Maybe you guys will disagree with me, but I personally feel all of the networks right now are struggling with their animated programs, aside from Adult Swim. I think Adult Swim, which is obviously like the, the, the more adult-themed uh, block of animation on Cartoon Network, I think they know what they're doing with Rick and Morty and Samurai Jack, so and obviously Simpsons and Family Guy and all that, but you know, I, I, I feel like Disney XD, they they don't know what they're doing. Uh, Cartoon Network is, you know, they're, they're all their shows are pretty much ending. They're not really sure what they're doing. Uh, Disney Channel doesn't really have anything, and Nickelodeon has, you know, a couple big Goliaths like the Fairly Odd Parents and SpongeBob. Uh, they have like, you know, the Loud House now too, which is that's probably the, the next best. You know, that's actually a decent show. Uh, I'll, I'll be happy to talk about that in the future, but I think they need something like Bunsen is a Beast. So, uh, yeah, and, you know, I guess the third and final topic will just kind of be me talking more about some of these shows returning, uh, the idea of these shows returning. So uh, it's a it's a pretty it's a usual topic that, that we do address on this podcast, but uh, it, it's, a, it's a well-deserved one because it's a really cool idea that, you know, at this day and age, we get to just, you know, hope and think that, hey, you know, it, it's, it's just like 
like a trend now to bring back old shows and old movies and reboot them and you know do long drawn out sequels like I, i'm gonna just use the prime example samurai jack you know it had it ended and i believe it was 2004 i think it ended 13 years guys 13 years later we're getting to season five so the point is there is a lot of room for that and that goes for any franchise so we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that but let's get right now into my thoughts on bunsen is a beast so let me just tell you this. If you're a fan of The Fairly Odd Parents, which I think most people are, because the show is like, I think, I believe it's Nickelodeon's longest running. And if it's not the longest running, uh, it comes in second to like SpongeBob. And if I, I think it is still its longest running. And I think it actually might be the second or third longest running cartoon series of all time behind The Simpsons. So it's a very, very popular show. Uh, they're still running episodes. They're still creating new episodes. They're, they're not done yet. So that means that that means one thing that that number one, that show is very successful. And number two, it has a, a big audience, uh, an older audience and a current new younger audience. So because you know, if you really enjoyed that, let me tell you this, you're gonna like this Bunsen is a beast show. Uh, it it, it, it kind of runs in a similar style. But at the same time, it it you know, I could see it being up there as a new modern classic uh, if, you know, time is kind to it, which I do think it will be. I think, you know, I, I do believe that Butch Hartman understands how to make kids laugh, but at the same time and make older people laugh as well. Obviously, I'm not a child, so, you know, cartoons are probably not my first choice. I mean, you know, n not trying to plug in here anything, but, uh, you know, my other channel, I, I obviously I talk about more adult themed shows. And that's kind of what my my typical uh, that that's that that's kind of like my typical watch zone, right? So not as much cartoons. So you know, over here obviously is more cartoons. Uh, so you know, when a, a show is able to make me laugh, at least uh, that's geared more towards kids, I gotta give him a thumbs up. Uh, but the the characters that we're following is Bunsen, and he's just a beast. And the whole the concept of this is this: that it's this small town, or maybe not too small, but you know, kind of like uh, Dimsdale or whatever. It's a, it's a, that type of town I, I forget the name of it uh but it's just usual and uh there's this kid mikey and he seems like he's he's kind of like a i i guess overachiever of sorts but like he's a really good kid and uh he he likes what he does as as kind of like a good kid and he's like the head of this you know welcoming committee and you know people seem to like him and you know he dresses you know fine right you know so that's that's he's just he's like your typical like this kid probably gets good grades this kid's probably is a really nice family. This kid, you know, probably is going to go to, you know, a great school and have a great future, right? Like, that's like the type of kid that we're looking at here. And this kid, Bonson, or really, he's not a kid. He's a, well, he is a kid, but he's like a beast kid. So he's this beast. And I don't know, we don't know how yet. And I, I do expect them to eventually explain how. Uh, just, you know, granted in the sense of Danny Phantom and Tough Puppy and especially Fairly Odd Parents, as time went on, they really did delve deep into the characters, especially the whole idea of the fairy world and the fairy godparents and the rules of the fairy godparents and the universe of the fairy godparents. So you better believe that we will be learning a ton about Bunsen and I'm sure they have, you know, libraries already of, of ideas that they're going to do and use for the show. Uh, but we don't know too much about him right now and his family other than the fact that his dad and his mom uh, dropped him off at school and now he's getting all this attention. Now, this, he's getting all the attention because he's a beast and people are kind of afraid of him. And at the same time, they're not though. And that's like, I think what's really going to make this different from Fairly Odd Parents is the idea of the real world knowing about the beast, uh, and the, the concept of the beast, uh, you know, compared to, you know, with the Fairly Odd Parents, the, the Fairly God Parents kind of fully being in secret and then, you know, having to kind of protect themselves in secrecy. So, uh, he, Bonson, he sits in class and and this kid Mikey comes up and he's like, hey, I'm, I'm Mikey. I'm, I'm here to welcome you. And from there, you know, Bunsen's looking for friends. Like it's his first day. And he just wants a friend. And, you know, Mikey is kind of that friend. Up until we meet a, a seems like an antagonist type villain, maybe kind of like a Vicky type character from Fairly Odd Parents. Uh, we meet... Amanda. Now, Amanda is a very, I, I personally find this character to actually be, you know, more beast looking like than Bunsen in, in a sense. Uh, but basically, this girl, she is, she, for some reason, she's just mad and evil. And, you know, it's a typical, you know, uh, just 
it's like Vicky, like I'm saying, it's like she just likes being bad for being bad, and you know, it's fine, it's fun, you know, and she's like a hall monitor, right, she's got these massive braces, and every time she speaks, she spits, and this is kind of like her gimmick, and, and it's actually, it was pretty funny the first time, first couple times, really, you, she, as she speaks, this puddle of saliva grows beneath her, it was really funny, I, I, I like that one, so uh, hopefully we get some more things like that, uh, but her main purpose is just trying to expose Bunsen as this really horrible horrific, terrible beast now that everybody knows about him, even though he's not. He's he's this, you know, fun guy. So she, you know, puts some radishes juice in him and radishes we find out to make him into a real beast and uh yeast beast or beast yeast that's what it's called can make him you know more human again or not not human but you know in that that confined beast mode the nice beast mode so you know there there's there's slowly they're they're starting to build rules around him i actually think the voice acting is pretty good uh but i do want to point out the animation the animation is probably the most different you will ever see from butch hartman and i think this is why i was not able to pick out the fact that Bonson is a beast was actually Actually from Butch Harmon up until about a week ago and this is all because again the animation it it looks like it could have been done by somebody completely different uh, if you would have told me that you know a completely other uh, creator and studio you know came up with this animation I'd say okay right because it it is different uh, unlike you know Danny Phantom and Fairly Odd Parents and Tough Puppy you can tell that these are all drawn by the same person and the same people uh, I think this could also have to do with technology evolving you know tough puppy premiered in 2010 uh fairly odd parents was 2001 danny phantom i think was 2004 2005 so you know there's uh you you, you see how it goes i think it was 2004 it, it was like more 2d at that point obviously this is still 2d animation but at the same time it seems like it could be some cg over it so i you know i don't exactly know N definitely not full-blown cg but you know there, there, there's definitely something there also, and uh, you know the the characters do run similarly to you know Timmy Turner, and I am very curious because we are getting a crossover episode in March, uh, I think after or before the Kids Choice Awards between Bunsen as a Beast and Fairly Odd Parents, uh, so I'm, I'm curious to see how that turns out as well. Um, but the side characters are really great. Also, you have this general commander in the military, I believe he's voiced by Jerry Trainer, so you know that he's a funny character. It seems like he could be like. Like Jorgen, uh, and I think you know the gimmick is again going to trying to be uh, for for everyone in the world, all these different groups of people or villains or whatever to try to expose Bunsen. And you know, if you think about the wide, wide, wide library over all these years, all these sixteen years, of Fairly Odd Parents, the characters that they've introduced, the villains and the the, the ideas they've introduced in that show. I'd expect something like that. I I can't tell you that you know Bonson as a Beast is going to run for sixteen years. Uh, I but I I could see the show going for at least four, five, six seasons, uh, depending on you know how it progresses. Uh, the first couple episodes seem to be pretty promising, and I think some of the better cartoons that are out right now. Uh, there's a lot of wacky, really goofy crap that you know I don't really personally like, and I don't think a lot of people personally like. And I I think this is a, a nice you know. Uh, a dose of something and uh we'll see you know i'm i'm all about getting back to those golden age because let me tell you this the mid 2000s that's when all the good stuff was going on i'm i'm i mean at least kids wise kids programs and the reason i can tell you this now is because looking back on it that stuff is still so good like like the old disney channel shows right there i'm not clearly they're not you know great but they're much better than they are now you know with the sweet life of zach and cody or the waverly place or you know all of that or you know the cartoons then the the original teen titans at that point and you had billy and mandy and you had spongebob is a prime one even though spongebob's still going on it's it's not it, it was so much bigger then uh and you had the great power ranger seasons and you know it was like that was like the golden age it seemed like you know you had uh american dragon and you had uh the danny phantom and just all these big ones on and so many different networks can possible uh it was just it, it it was it was nice having that then uh you know the proud family and 
now it's kind of been not that. And I think, you know, this type of show, Bunsen is a Beast, is somewhere along the lines of that that quality of cartoon from the mid-2000s. All right, so let's move into our second topic of the day, and that would be about this crossover, this return uh, of animation, and how, you know, I think they're going to play this legacy. Now, I think, you know, specific things that have gone on with many networks uh, lately is that there are, they, they have been trying to do original things and they're trying to do these original, you know, shows. I'm going to use Disney XD as a prime example because they seem to start a new animated show, you know, every couple months. And then every couple months you see that show end. And this is because, you know, you, you, I, I appreciate the creativity that I think a lot of uh, networks are doing right now. You know, you have something like Cards Network or Nickelodeon or Disney XD or Disney Channel or, you know, whatever, right? Disney Junior. And you see that you see that they're, you there are there there's there's a mind that that's going to this that's trying to pull something creative out of out of all of it uh but the bottom line is the 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 way they're trying to appeal to kids nowadays is just stupid and it i it, it goes along with just the world evolving which is obviously really sad but the world evolves the kids evolve you know you got your 3 year old you know daughter son or you know nephew or whatever playing they know how to work an iphone right you know they can they can make a phone call right they could facetime or they could you know tweet something like a 3 year old can do this and and it becomes to the point you know where they're watching these these really stupid videos on on youtube right like maybe not like this but you know what i mean like the epic fail videos or you know any of any of that crap that that really is so pointless and i'd say almost something like this that that i'm recording right now is more beneficial than something like those those stupid fail videos even though they are they can be funny but the point is you know it's it's a different audience now and that means that these networks are trying different things for some reason. And I, I don't see why. And I think this is this has gone on, really. Uh, aside from movies and, you know, high network TV, I really do believe that kids' television has really gone downhill highly majorly and this could this could be because i've i've obviously grown up from you know the the late 90s into the early 2000s uh but you know i i'm obviously i'm not a child any longer uh but you know it it's still i don't see kids as engaged as you know i might have once been all all those many 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 years ago so the bottom line is why is that why and i think this again is such a great idea by you know marketing bunsen as a beast with all of these other tv shows that you know were really big hits now so many people want to see danny phantom return i think this is a, such a fantastic idea and i secretly do believe that they actually are uh, animating a whole new season right now uh, i i think that is something that is going on but hartman is put out so many teasers within the last couple months uh he just did this interview with andre meadows aka the black nerd from black nerd comedy fantastic guy fantastic channel you gotta obviously check him out and uh you know there he's marketing like bring back danny phantom like the hashtag and i really do believe though that you know this is something that nickelodeon has been like yeah we see that's that this is what's going on look you know it, it's it's not a full confirmation but it really does seem like you know this cartoon leads me to believe that you know, like, why would they just animate some new, you know, Danny Phantom after 10 years for just to market Bunsen as the Beast, you know? I think they're, they're obviously, they're doing test footage type things like this to see if people really, really do want it. I do think people really, really do want it. I love it in the style of Samurai Jack Season 5. Now, granted, we haven't seen what that's going to look like, but I don't know if you've seen the trailer. It is effing beautiful. It is beautiful. And I, I can't tell you how pumped I am for that. You better believe you'll be getting some, you know, Samurai Jack content uh, as it's released. Um, but the bottom line is, you know, there is a ton of things you can do, you know, all these years later. And I, I, I know this is animation and all of this. And obviously not a Power Rangers podcast. We have a Power Rangers podcast. You can obviously go and check out on the Big Bang Network. Uh, but I do think this is a problem for the Power Rangers franchise. And this is, you know, the, the TV 
TV show franchise, at least. You know, they they were at such a high point, you know, about 10 years ago and a little little less, a little over 10 years ago, like 12, 13 years ago, all that. And, you know, progressively, it has just gone downhill. And it's sad because, again, it's it's part of kids' TV. It's on Nickelodeon. You know, I don't see why Nickelodeon is trying to make so many drastic changes to the to the, the formula that was once so great. And I think it goes goes along with all of this. So uh, I say, you know, I, I'm ready for some of this to come back because I, I don't understand why, especially Nickelodeon doesn't understand the glory that went into all of these shows in the past. And, you know, what made Danny Phantom such a hit? Why do people want to see it back so bad? I don't know, right? Be- but, you know, the, the, the thing is... It was just one of those shows, and I think it's the fact that Nickelodeon has still not done it leads me to believe that they're 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 just they're a bunch of idiots behind there. And you you need people like Butch Hartman who do understand it and who do who are passionate about this. Butch Hartman has come out and he's been like, "Yeah, guys, I want to do more Danny Phantom. He'd probably do more Tough Puppy, or he'd probably do a a whole I don't know. You, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I I don't know. I think hopefully Bunsen is the beast." Uh, um, is a beast, you know, will, will kind of be a, a really big, you know, booming thunder return for the Butch Hartman name and Nickelodeon will be like, yeah, we'll, we'll be happy to give you another show, Dandy Phantom, the whole new season or something like that, or a spinoff show from it, you know, uh, with maybe Danny training, uh, you know, as an older man, maybe training a bunch of other kids, uh, or maybe, you know, uh, or ghosts and all that or maybe they'll they'll put it on a different network i don't really know you know there's a lot of possibilities that they can go for uh it just has to go it has to do with you know do they want to do it and uh i think they do i think this this little clip should should completely confirm that they do want that and they do want that and i guess we're we're kind of already talking about the third topic just the idea of bringing it everything back and uh you know i i probably don't even have to get into it too much cuz i think we just covered it all but the bottom line is here is that you know they're they're as time goes on, right, as you're you're living your life right in this moment, you know, and you're probably watching this video because, you know, you're you're interested in Bunsen as a beast and you're interested in, you know, this whole idea of Danny Phantom returning. And this leads me to believe that you are an older, older-ish person, right, a older teen or early 20s or mid-20s, early 30s, whatever, okay? It leads me to believe that you're in that range. And this also leads me to believe that you're living a pretty stressful life right now, somehow, some way. And, you know, these shows, they helped us, you know, when we were real little, and I think they could almost help us again. So I really do believe that this is something that needs to happen. Return to Danny Phantom, uh, return of just in general, all things that were really great all those years ago. You know, I, I don't know how it happened, and I really, I, I try to think about it. It's like the last decade doesn't really feel like it's been a decade. It only feels like it's been like two or three years, but, you know, it's just, it's weird how I'd say around 2010, 2011, everything kind of really shifted. And maybe that had to do with a, a new decade, right? Uh, but at the same time, it, it's time it's time to return to those roots. So you guys let me know your thoughts on everything here, on Bunsen is a Beast, on Danny Phantom returning, on this crossover between Bunsen is a Beast and the Fairly Odd Parents. I do appreciate you guys watching this brand new episode of the Animation Block. Now, uh, we, this is episode 24, so we have episode 25, 26, 27, and 28. We have four more episodes this season. Uh, so get ready for those. Uh, I can I can promise you that there will be a Samurai Jack filled episode, and that there will be a Bunsen is a Beast and Fairly Odd Parents crossover episode. Uh, I am hoping to get a couple other things out there, and we'll do some cool things for the finale, hopefully also. Uh, but it's been a pretty cool year for the most part. I know we I haven't been uploading as regularly, uh, but you know obviously I'm more busy on Infinite Attitude, uh, and I'll probably be doing a Samurai Jack video on that channel as well. So. If you're a fan of me, you know, me here, then be, by all means, go ahead and check me out there. Uh, we're on our road to 10K right now, so uh, it's been a lot of fun, though. I've had a lot of, I've had a blast on uh, the Big Bang Network, and here, obviously, we're on the road to 1K, so 
you know, just click your subscribe button. Click the subscribe button. There's no harm in it, you know. You're not going to get any bad content, I promise you that. Uh, maybe not as regular content, but nothing too bad. So uh, just make sure you are subscribed here, subscribed anywhere else, and uh, keep track of... I know I'd actually say probably subscribe to Butch Hartman's channel uh, just for updates and stuff like that, you know, because I think he's going to be the most regularly updating person on, you know, if they do decide to bring back Danny Phantom or so forth and so on. Thanks so much for watching. And I'm Ryder, and this has been The Animation Block.